Hi guys. Oh shit. Kenneth is sitting down um, in front of his camera. The background music, it's different. Some serious heart to heart talk is gonna happen. Hi, <laughs> uh, yep. It's, it, it is gonna happen. I just want to share something that has kind of been bothering me for a while. I have a confession to make. I think my editing for the past few weeks have been quite um, lackluster. And I've also been um, sitting on my New Zealand vlogs for a while now. I really don't have a good excuse for all this except for the fact that I'm actually doing this on top of my full-time job. The only free time I have is after office hours. Uh, that is, you know, evenings or weekdays as well as weekends. So these free times are the time that I use to make my videos. And I also need to, you know, partition the free time for other commitments like, you know, spending time with family, um, going out with friends, you know, attending weddings and so on. And the thing is that when I'm not spending enough time on my videos, I always blame myself for poor time management. Like, I would tell myself that if I stop watching random YouTube videos or like playing pointless games, I probably would be able to do a lot more. But now I also realize that knowing this problem of poor time management is not helping when I'm not doing anything about it. And the question is why? Why am I not doing anything about it? Why am I not able to spend my time more efficiently? And I think the problem is that I am satisfied. I'm satisfied with how things are right now. I'm satisfied with, with the life that I'm having right now. Actually, I've struggled with this for quite a long time. You see, when you're working on something that you really really want you will pour your heart and soul into it if like there's an exam that you want to score a plus you will study really hard for it and if there's a girl that you really really like you spend a lot of effort you know trying to chase her trying to impress her and so on and i believe that the amount of effort you put into something that you do it depends on how much you want it how much you desire it but what if you don't want it enough what if you are content with how things are and you don't mind things remaining status quo? And, and I think this is what's happening to me right now and to the channel. My motivation for doing my videos weekly stems merely from a promise that I made to myself. And what drives me to make my video each week is a matter of deadlines that I set for myself. I think part of the problem is that um, this whole dream of you know making videos full time, it's really just this far-fetched dream that may or may not happen uh, it's rather open-ended meaning that if I'm stuck with um, 500 subscribers in my YouTube channel I will just be like so be it lah. because this transient goal of you know getting there is is making me very hard to want it enough and I end up making a lot of videos for the sake of meeting the one video per week timeline that I have and yeah I've been fine with that. I don't want that. I don't want to settle for for putting up mediocre content. I like to believe that good content from me comes out when I enjoy making the content and that you guys will actually appreciate that kind of content a lot more. What really motivates me to do good videos or like you know spending hours editing is when I'm having fun. And this fun factor is really the reason why you know I've been making YouTube videos for a while now. And with that, I'd like to share three things. Number one, I will be putting my New Zealand travel vlogs on hiatus. I think largely because I'm not enjoying the editing process as much as I thought I would. The editing for the New Zealand vlogs are very similar to my Ken in Japan series. The fun in, in creating something like this has gone away with the novelty. I'm not sure if I'll bring the travel vlogs back, but um, I would like to put them aside for now and telling you guys this makes me feel a bit better because I don't want to just you know let it go quietly I really want to be honest to myself and to you guys number two is that I really want to film stories and what that means is that I want to spend more time writing stories thinking about them. I have not been doing this for a really long time and that is because of the weekly videos. I don't have like a bank of ideas that I you know constantly refer to so that you know I can make my videos like with a snap of a finger. The truth is I always struggle with what is the next video that I want to put out. Sometimes I really only have a good idea like one or two days before Sunday. I always see the whole, you know, spending time on weekly video as an excuse for not sitting down and writing stories. Knowing or treating it as an excuse will not naturally make the problem go away. 
you know, you still have to be motivated to, to resolve it, to, to solve the problem. So this will lead me to my next point. The third point is that I'm going to cut myself some slack. There might be some weeks which I may not post anything. As much as possible, I will still try to maintain the weekly videos. So what this means is that rather than spending time on videos that I'm making for the sake of meeting the weekly schedule, I would spend the time more productively in, in sitting down and thinking about stories that I want to share. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's really what I want to share. Is this video to get some sympathy from you guys? Maybe. <laughs> but I, I like to be honest with you guys. And making this video helps myself put things into perspective. It helps me solidify a lot of the thoughts and concerns I have in my head which allows me to analyze myself better. And I know being honest in front of the camera in my videos is something that you guys have always appreciated. I have friends who have told me that they are impressed with the things I do, um, that I'm able to put up weekly videos despite having a full-time job. But it is, to me, it's not enough, you see. Like this is me if I'm not doing anything. This is like me achieving my goal. And I'm like somewhere here only, you know, like, like, I'm just like, getting started. So I hope this video will kind of allow you guys to better understand where I'm coming from, what is happening to the channel. The channel is not gonna die, okay? It, it's still gonna be here. It's just that I guess I, I need some time to take a few steps back, rather than, you know, mindlessly, consistently churning out videos that don't matter. I want to make videos that I'm having fun with. And right now, I feel like I'm kind of just being lost in doing all these weekly videos. So it's, it's about finding this fine balance between quality content and quantity. You need quality content so that people will come and enjoy your content. While you also need quantity to be consistently doing the art and with the process of content creation. Right now, the balance for me is like, like that. Quantity is like, like that. Then quality is like disappearing. <laughs> I hope by being honest with myself and um, doing things that, that I think matter to the channel, will help me generate more energy to do better videos for you guys. I hope you guys still stick around. Please stick around, okay? So yeah, rather than see you guys next week, maybe I should change it to see you guys soon. 